Mr. Chairman, I have a brilliant amendment on the desk. This either has to be the best damn amendment ever written or the biggest mistake we have ever done. Gentleman of New Jersey yields. Yes. The, too bad. Your time's expired. If you go out there, there is not a single Dr. Pepper in the entire friggin' room. Those in favor say aye. Opposed say no. It's much more than four would vote. <laughs> I have been nursing this all day. It expired two years ago. There is a complaint I wish to lie. <laughs> the gentleman's complaint is duly noted. Two minutes. I give him three. I appreciate my friends from Virginia's effort to try and save my immortal soul. You failed. And I also appreciate him saying I'm distinguished. It's obviously the new shirt. I, on the other hand, will spend quite a few years in purgatory for what I was saying about this situation, not only verbally, but inside my head. But if we told you, we'd have to kill you. It's kind of like to paraphrase the old Tom Cruise movie and clean it up. You screwed up. You trusted me. This is a bill the last time it was addressed. I was still wearing saddleback jeans and platform shoes, and my hair had color and was parted down the middle, and it covered more than just my ears. This chart, for those with keen eyesight, kind of puts this in perspective. And now you wonder why I have premature gray hair sitting on the resource committee? The premise of this amendment is that the blue is too big. So you have an endangered bird eating an endangered bird. And not just in Colorado, it was all ski resorts. As I have said repeatedly, the ski resorts in Utah are far more significant and far better than the ski resorts in Colorado. It affects all of us. We're on a different amendment. Oh. But when you, when you come to that one, you're spot on. The grazers in Idaho who, do, who produce the stuff from which Big Macs and Whoppers are made. And I know that from personal experience, obviously. We're being cute here. I want to be very positive, but a lot of the charges that are being made are um, stupid. Mr. Chairman, have we always called this the sap? Those are wonderful rhetorical questions. Uh, it's, it's accurate, but we should probably sorry. find a better... Sir? It's accurate, but we should probably find a better phrase for it than the sap. Well, his reason was because. It, it sap sometimes is good and sap is sometimes it's is bad. bad. Okay. Well, it's gooey, but nothing is really sticking here. Be, please take your recommendation. We could pretend to be dyslexic and just call it the pass. Here you, well, that'd be my initials. Oh. Well, then we got it. So last night I'm watching the Cubs game and the shortstop, <laughs> who is on a terror right now as far as hitting, bounces off a foul tip that the replay clearly shows, bounced into the ground, the catcher trapped the ball. I need to have a clock up there so I can time myself. Now even though the Cubs manager went out there claiming how unfair this was, and I was yelling at the TV screen for hours afterwards, history books will still say that Castro had a strikeout at this particular event. I even forgot where I was, to be honest with you, you for which you were happy, I know. Uh, yeah, thanks. Mr. Mr. Chairman, um, what I was trying to say was, this is a damn good bill.